Stop tripping. Well, she told me that my blood work shows that it looks like that I could be pregnant. Okay. Hey family. So I'm back at the doctor's office. If you remember in the last video, I did blood work um, for my regular annual checkup. The doctor called and told me that she wanted me to come in so that she could give me my results. I was like, all right, cool. So we made the appointment for today. So I'm here, I'm going to go in, get the results, see what she say, and go from there. We're gonna pray all is well. I don't expect anything to be, you know, out the ordinary but it's like damn when the doctor calls and it's like i need you to come in of course our first instinct is like oh shit you know but that's all right i know god got me whatever it is is what it is and then we gonna deal with that head on so let's go inside let's see what she wants to tell me and go from there all right y'all let's go so i'm in here so waiting on the doctor to get here. Once she get in, let's see what she says. So were you able to look at some of the labs online? I did. Okay. But um, I didn't really know what I was reading. But. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's usually the case. Um, so let me pull it up and then I just have a few things I wanted to point out to you, okay? Okay. All right. Okay, I, I see. So you are very anemic. Have you ever had I've been anemia? told that, but when, when I was pregnant, so now you're, you're anemic. And so usually pregnancy is the most common cause of anemia. Mm -hmm. So when you're not pregnant, you have to think of other things, right? So have you ever had an ultrasound of your um, pelvis? Um, you've never been told you have fibroids, nothing like that? No. Okay. And then your pregnancy was when? The last one was 2000 and she was born in 2011. Okay. So, okay. Because 10 is pretty low. Um, hmm. Yeah, 2011 is a long time. Mm -hmm. So, who's your gynecologist? Uh, Dr. Cohen. Cohen. Okay. Hmm. So, I can't explain why you're so anemic. Um, usually, that's fibroids or something like that. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. So, I want to get an ultrasound of your... Um, I want to do a transvaginal ultrasound of your pelvis. Okay. Okay. Just so I can rule out anything like fibroids, whatever it could be. Okay. For you to be at a hemoglobin of 10, normal is 12. So, that's like almost two pints of blood. That's a lot of blood. That's right? that's low. That's low. That okay. we're missing. Okay. Oh, that we're okay. missing. Okay. Yeah. So so there has to be a reason. Mine will be complete with transvaginal. Perfect. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah. So there has to be a reason why. Mm -hmm. So I want us to try to figure out if we can get down to the bottom of it. Okay. So okay. the problem with the anemia that we have to watch for mm -hmm. is that when you're when you're severely anemic, so when you're missing all that blood, your heart has to work harder. Why? Because you don't have the normal amount of blood you should, so your heart works hard to compensate and make sure all your organs get perfused. Mm. So that can lead into heart failure. Oh, wow. Yeah, long-term anemia gives you high output heart failure. Mm. So that's why I always, you know, don't just brush it off because I'm like, you know, years and years and years and years, it could become a big problem. Gotcha. You see? Um, so the normal is usually we do iron mm -hmm. for iron deficiency anemia, and it sounds like it is because it's blood you're losing that's always iron deficient. Mm -hmm. So you probably should be on iron. Were you on iron during your pregnancy? I was. You should start it again. Mm -hmm. okay? okay, once a day. All right, and then in the meantime, we'll get the ultrasound and we'll try to figure out what is really going on, okay? okay. So, was everything we, else okay? Like, cholesterol? Else so, what perfect. I guess I should ask, what do you guys check? What did you check? So, we do a chemistry that checks your electrolytes, your kidney function, okay, your liver function. Okay, CBC was just what we checked for your blood count, also okay. checks your white count, which is indication of infection. Okay, um, we also check lipid, cholesterol, thyroid. Um, we also check urine and we check you for diabetes. Okay. So That's okay. a standard panel. Okay. So, and all those other things were fine except the anemia. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. Yeah, okay. everything else was fine. 
Okay. Okay. So that was the only thing was the extreme anemia. And like I said, most people think uh, anemia is not a real issue, but they don't know that leads to heart failure. Mm. You see? So it's like, you know, years and years of ignoring it, and then you develop heart failure out of nowhere. And then you're wondering, and you're wondering why. why. And it's high output heart failure. So it's not the normal heart failure that fluid accumulates everywhere. No, it's just because your heart has been overcompensating for so many years. Mm. Okay. Okay. So, so okay. what do you, what, but like, okay, so once we do the pap, let's let's just say I don't have fibroids. Well, we're doing the yeah. ultrasound. So I mean, sorry, ultrasound. not the okay. ultrasound. So you don't and have fibroids. Yes. So then um, that is honestly the most common reason is okay. fibroids. Then I would want you to go back to your gynecologist and find out. There's other things. There's things called adenomyosis, mm -hmm. endo endometriosis. Got There's it. a lot of pelvic disorder. There's polyps of the um of the uh uh I'm so blinking not of the surveys of the actual um I can't think right now I had a long day that's okay <laughs> but the actual organ right okay, okay so you could have polyps in there okay right uterus oh my gosh the uterus, uterus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can have polyps okay, in your uterus okay. okay you can have cervical polyps there's a number of things Got okay it. Got um so uh fibroids is just the most common in African American Got women. It. Yeah, okay, yeah. especially with heavy menstrual cycles. Okay. Okay. So we usually rule that out first, and if it's not, then maybe sometimes they actually the gynecologist has to go in and take a look into your uterus and figure mm. out why are you bleeding, what's yeah. wrong with the lining. Got it. Okay. Got it. Got it. All right. Got it. So, um, but we start non-invasive first. Of so course. <laughs> we do the ultrasound. Okay. Anything okay. else? No. Okay. That's it. Perfect. So I'm gonna call Derek and see if I can play a little prank on him about what the doctor said the results were. And let's see if he gon' he gon' uh believe me or not. He probably won't, but hell <laughs> I'm gonna try. <laughs> All right, let's go. Hello? Hello? Hey. Hey. Alright, so I'm just now leaving the doctor's office. Wow, okay. What did it say? Well, I mean, it ain't good. What you mean it ain't good? What did it say? She said she don't know if I'm gonna make it. Just stop playing around. <laughs> don't mess with me. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> what did they say? Stop. Yes, in the Why would I play around like that? Because you do. That's the stuff you do. Mm. <laughs> what did they say? Yes. Stop tripping. Well, she told me that my blood work shows that it looks like that I could be pregnant. I know you're playing a double prank on me. <laughs> no, actually, I'm, I'm not playing. You're not playing. You're for real, for real. Yep. Tell me how that happened. I mean, what do you mean, how did that happen? I thought everything was sealed up. I did too. That's the, that's the impression that I had. Right. But she told me that, you know, there are chances that it could potentially untie. I said, yeah, but that was over 12 years ago. She said, exactly. So she sending me, she gave me a referral for, uh, to get a transvaginal ultrasound. I <laughs> see you playing, man. Would you, you record me for your YouTube channel or something? What you doing? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> you serious? You gotta be. 
Yeah, you gotta be recording on your YouTube channel. Take me off the speakerphone, because I know you got me. I, I know <laughs> oh, this has got to be pumped, cranked, something. Oh my gosh, yo. I, I know you trip that. No, right? it's a prank. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah, you better be. No way in hell I'm pregnant, shit. No way in hell I'm pregnant, shit. So there you have it, family. That was the results of my doctor appointment. So she said that I am severely anemic. So a normal red blood count for the body should be 12. Mine is 10. And so, like she said, that's equivalent to about two pints of blood missing out of my body. And so um, that alarmed her, which makes her want to do further tests to find out what is causing the anemia. The anemia, you know, which I can truly respect and thank God she's being diligent because who knows how long I've been anemic. Now, when I was pregnant with all of my pregnancies, all four of them, I always had to take iron. Like I've always had low iron. so. It's just been a regular thing, you know, but not knowing that anemia could potentially cause heart failure. And then when she said that, it made me think like, you know what? A lot of women do have heart failure and that could be the, the you know, the leading cause of it. So I'm just happy that she did that. We're gonna do further tests. She's gonna do an ultrasound on my pelvic to see if I have any fibroids in my uterus, any polyps, you know, to find out what else is going on, what could be causing the anemia. So in the meantime, I went ahead and I bought some iron pills over the counter. So I'm taking iron right now to help with the anemia. And I'm also taking vitamin D because um, the last time I had went to the doctor, she told me that my vitamin D level was low. And that's typical for, you know, many of us who have melanin, enough melanin in our skin, we have a tendency to be low on vitamin D. So I do take a vitamin D supplement every day and now I am also taking iron. All right, so that was the, the results. I am so grateful that that's what it was. I can handle that and take that head on and do what I'm what I got to do. You know what I do what I am going to do too is I'm going to see if I can find out and do some research on what type of foods that are high in iron that I can also start incorporating into my diet because I don't want to be dependent on an iron pill. Now granted, trust me, your girl going to take her iron pill. Okay? Okay. But I want to also include, you know, healthy foods or foods that are high in iron. I believe like greens, like spinach and things like that is high in iron. But I'll just incorporate more into my diet to also help with, with that. And then get tested again probably next year and to see if everything is all good. If it helped, you know. So those were the results. Now I ain't going to hold y'all. I was kind of like nervous because I've never had a doctor call me back and say, you know, okay, after doing blood results and say, we want you to come in. Never. You know, typically when, when I do blood results, they'll call you or they'll call me and they'll give me the results, you know, over the phone. And so when she called me in, when she called and said, you know, I want you to come in so I can give you results, I was like, is that standard practice? <laughs> because, you know, what's really going on, doc? But... I was I was kind of scared and nervous, but I wasn't because I'm like no, you know I don't I don't think it's anything major. So, and thank God I was I was right, you know. But it could potentially become something major have if I don't take care of it or take my iron pills or whatever have you. So that was the results of that. I am so grateful for that. And now you guys know. Now listen, last week Monday was my birthday, right? And um, first of all, let me just say thank you to all of you who did reach out and tell me happy birthday and I, I got the texts and I got the uh, Facebook messages and Instagram messages and YouTube messages. I got them all. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And so here's the thing. I wanted to share with you guys um, some of the, the things that I got for my birthday. And I want, you know, I just, I want my YouTube family to give me their opinion on what I got for my birthday. And these are things that was given to me 
by my husband and kids okay so I want you guys to uh, <laughs> I want you guys to check out what I got for my birthday and you know in the comments let me know what you think but let me know your thoughts and then I'm gonna tell you mine all right let's check it out so I got this really multicolored full bodycon dress tell me what you guys think I really 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 like this dress it is so cute it fits very well and they bought me this for my birthday tell me what you think I like this and then I could add a belt he bought me a belt that I could wear with it This belt. Do you like this? You can belt it with this. Right? I really love the way this dress fits. It's different. And I'm a bodycon dress type kind of girl. I really love a great bodycon dress. And it, it goes all the way down. I wish I could show you guys, like you can't really see, but it goes all the way down, almost to my ankle. So I really, really like that. So I could wear it with this belt. Tell me if you like this belt. Or do you like this belt? Which belt are you feeling? The gold or the black? This is so cute. I love it. Tell me what you guys think. Gold or black? Gold belt, black belt, or no belt with this dress? I love it. Really, really cute. Okay. And then they got me this. which is so cute some scissors oh let it focus okay some scissor earrings is that not adorable i mean i love it scissor earrings right so we got that and and i got some slides which are super cute these are like you know regular everyday slides because I'm always wearing slides so they got me these which are adorb I love it I would show you guys with them on my feet but the camera won't allow so but just try, I'll show you as a matter of fact let me show you hold on and they actually kind of look cute with the dress y'all Not with this gold belt, but let me see if I can show you guys. I think that is so cute. So I'm loving these with the dress. Yes, yes, and yes. And these are the other shoes I got. Look at this, y'all. Now, I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> when I first saw these shoes, I laughed till I cried. I did, I laughed till I cried. Granted, the shoes are cute. Just not for me. <laughs> oh my gosh. So you tell me, 
your opinion, what do you think of these shoes? My husband loves them. He said, Tissa, they look so good on your feet. See, he bought these shoes because this is what he would want to see me in. But honestly, this is not my style. So I know he's gonna watch this video and I, it's not like he doesn't know because I told him this, but I just wanted to share. So I wanted to ask you your opinion. What do you think about these shoes? <laughs> Yo, oh my, and look, look, it has Velcro. <laughs> It has Velcro. <laughs> oh my gosh, yo. These are some shoes my grandma would wear. Listen, it's just not my style, okay? It's, it, really, it really is just not my style. All right, but that's what he bought for me. So I'm curious, you tell me what, what your opinion. Comment down below, am I tripping? Or is it like Tissa? You're tripping, girl. Those shoes are fire. Or am I right? It's just, it's just not my style. So you tell me your thoughts, okay? But um, I just wanted to share that with you. I did. I had such a great birthday. I didn't do much this birthday. And typically, I would normally have my birthday planned. All right, I love birthdays. I love birthdays. I love celebrating someone's born day, especially my own. And it just, you know, solidifies and allows me to thank God for giving me another circle around the moon, another circle around the sun. You know what I'm saying? Another circle, another one, another one. I just, I love celebrating birthdays. But this birthday, I didn't. I didn't have any plans. I didn't have anything. My sissy called me and she was like, what are we doing for your birthday, girl? And I'm like, girl, I have no plans. No, that's not like you. Tissa, I know you got plans. Sis, I, 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 I literally had no plans. So up until last Saturday, she was like, where are we, we doing something? Where are we going? What are we? So we decided to go and we hung out. Um, at the Hard Rock, you know, we had a we had a great time. We we really did. We had a really good time, and I'm really glad that we went. But this year, my I I had I had no major plans. Now next year, oh, we gonna celebrate, okay? Next year I'll be 45, God willing, and I do plan to have a celebration. But you know, nonetheless, I did enjoy the birthday this year, and I, again, I'm just so grateful. And thankful to all of you who celebrated me and who showed me love and trust me it does not go unnoticed so thank you all right y'all so I just wanted to share with you what I got for my birthday share with you the doctor's visits um, share with you what's going on and, and let me know if you can help me out and tell me like what type of if any if any of you have this issue like with iron deficiency and if so, what are you doing? Or have you heard anything? This is my first time. I knew that I was anemic, but it was, t like I told her, it was always in my pregnancies. So now that, you know, it's like, okay, girl, you're not pregnant and you're still anemic. Like, we need to find out what's good. So I'm really curious, to, you know, to find out if any of you guys have experienced this or not. But anyways, I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you so much. And I'll catch you on the next one. Deuces.